Wendy's brought us to Lake Heron and you should feel very privileged. We found a pair of crested grebes, Australasian crested grebes, and it's unusual to see them. So this is great that we're here for that. Uh, and Wendy, you were saying that they're particularly well adapted to this environment. Yeah, they are, Paul. They're a high country bird, specialised to the high country lakes. Um, they never come ashore at all. They're adapted so they spend their entire lives on water. Um, they're quite a large bird. They're about a kilogram in weight. Um, and their legs sit quite well back on their body when they're floating on the water. And this means that they're really good swimmers and divers. They've got quite fleshy um, toes, which means they can paddle quite quickly. Right. And they can dive quite deeply. But it pretty much means that they can't walk on land. But they don't really need to because they build their nests on water, so the floating nests. And um, the nest can be quite large as well. And if the water level's change slowly they just add a few few more bits of weed on top to, to raise it up and then they'll lay the eggs on there. Okay. Um, North Island kids you won't see them they're only found in the, in the South Island so yeah they're, they're an amazing bird. And, and even here they are endangered? They're endangered in New Zealand yes um, there's 600 of them left in New Zealand we've got about 50 that we know of um, about 15 to 20 pairs, but unfortunately they're not producing very many chicks. Last year I only counted four chicks, mm, yeah. so it's pretty concerning. But we are um, trying to think of innovative ways of protecting them and, and trying to solve some issues that we have. One of the issues that they face is with these really strong winds, the lake levels can get quite choppy mm. and it floods the nests. Mm. Um, so we had a local businessman come to us and said, oh, we, w we want to do something to help some wildlife in the area, um, and I've heard of these grebes, what can we do to help? And between um, us and Mark, the businessman, we've come up with a floating platform that they breed on. It's worked quite well overseas, but it's never been tried in New Zealand. So the, the platform will float on the water, we anchor it down so it doesn't float away. Um, and we're just trialling a few designs at the moment, so hopefully this year, or maybe next, they'll use them. And this will hopefully mean that the platform can go up and down with the lake levels and, um, and not flood the nests. Indeed, very clever. So not only passive management, but active management too. Yep, some species require a bit of um, thinking outside the square. Excellent.